Dean O.D. Family Man in the Philippines. This is part two of the Deep Cool Gamex RGB CPU cooler install. This video we show you the installation of the backplate for the CPU cooler on the back side of the motherboard in our Raymax v Vortex V5 case and installing the heat sink itself. So let's go on to the video. So you probably not be able to see much of this next step here. We have the mounting bracket. We're going to put that on this side here. I know there was a couple of videos where some of the guys put these on the backwards the wrong way. And then we're going to take one of these screws or standoffs. I'm going to start at the bottom down here. And get that in place and tightened up. And we'll take another one and put it up at the top area Oops. so what I'm doing is I have one down here I'm going to put another one down here in or up here in the corner to hold them hold that plate in place Now these do have screws in there. If you have a common or slotted screwdriver, you can tighten them down a little. Don't make them too tight. So now I don't have to hold the back plate as much because it won't pull out. And then get that screw in place. And now we have this thumb screw to put in place. So I'm going to take my multi-tool that has a screwdriver tip on it and I'll tighten it down just a little bit. Like I said, you don't want them too tight. You don't want to break it into the plastic mounting. standoffs through. You don't want to do that either. Alright. Those all four screws are good and snug. Now the next step, put the plates mount our plates onto our heatsink. Now we want to make sure we have the right ones. We should be the long ones. And they go in there just like this. That one on that side. And then this one will go on this side. So let me get these mounted to the heatsink right here. Here we have our mounting bracket and we have the heat sink. So we're going to put this on just like this. Just like this. So I hope you can see that the arms go inward. Of course, we have to use a small, tiny screw. So we're going to put the screw, there's an indentation here, so we're going to put the screw in there like that. I'm going to use just the bit piece from my screwdriver. Before I do that, I'm going to stand this up on its edge over here somewhere. There, that worked out great. So now we just use our regular screwdriver here. And tighten this one down. Try not to strip the screw. Do the same thing on this side. That works better. 
better on the other side. Just put that right in there. There's like a little notch right here, or clip, clip type thing where this actually fits into. And then we can just put that right down in there like that. Like we did the other side, take our screwdriver, and get our screw started. tight. Like I said, don't strip this thread. You might want to take it out one day. Alright, that's done. Our, snack, our next step is going to be to put heat sink compound on our processor. sure there's I'm pretty sure there's more than enough compound inside of these they usually send enough for like two different applications it says deep cool on the package I use my handy scissors make cut a little holes cut that like that doesn't take much Seem to squeeze out would be good. Alright. That's about enough that we need right there. watching the video please subscribe click the like button leave a comment and have a great day